In today's video, I'm going to be showing the most OP combos to use in ARK PvP. Let's get right into it. Alright, so the first combo on today's list is going to be using Void and Lightning. The reason why it's so overpowered is because there's not much you can do to get away from it unless you're faster than the wyverns. And because of how close you can fly them together, if the void stuns something and the lightning beams it, it gives them very little time to react or get away. In this clip, we noticed the shadow main and lightning, but because we already pre-netted, we weren't really worried about the shadow main. The void stuns the lightning rider, and I beam on my lightning, killing him. I instantly turn around and try to land on the kit to harvest it, so that way the guy on the shadow main couldn't get it. Immediately afterwards, I hop off and pull out my harpoon launcher. I shoot one of them at the shadow main, then I switch to my other harpoon launcher and shoot it at the player. At this point, I tried to rifle his boots out to kill him, but because he had good armor, I wasn't able to. He ends up cutting free and trying to hop back on the shadow main, so we pull out our flamethrowers to try to kill him the rest of the way. He cuts his shadow main free, and when he hops on and jumps away, he dies to the fire damage. The next overpowered combo on today's list is going to be Bloodstalkers and Bolas. The reason why is because the Bloodstalker picks them and holds them still, allowing you to get a perfect Bola on them. Immediately afterwards, if they do end up getting out of the Bloodstalker, you're still able to kill them with either a shotgun or a sword depending on what your character build is. Once you hit the Bola on the player, it's basically a guarantee that you're going to get the kit. Another location where Bloodstalkers and Bolas are really helpful is in the Ice Cave PvP. Because if you bolo someone, it makes them have to go prone, and the Bloodstalker pulls them through the crouch. Once you have them pulled through the crouch, you just gotta let the turrets do the rest. Next on the list is my personal favorite combo to use in ARC. To use this combo effectively, you're gonna need a grenade launcher, tech nades, and gravity nades. How you're gonna wanna set up the grenades in the rocket launcher is one gravity nade, two tech nades, another gravity nade, and then two more tech nades. And the reason why is because the gravity nade, the first one you shoot, pulls them into the middle, then the two tech nades blow them up, the second gravity nade you shoot pulls them back into the middle again, and then the last two tech nades kill the players more than likely. Here's a clip of me using it while countering an OSD. Next on the list is going to be using a Mantis with movement speed. The reason why it makes it so overpowered is because the Mantis can get countered pretty easily, but if it moves quick enough, it doesn't give people time to react. A lot of times when you can run around corners quickly like this, you can knock out a bunch of people before they even have time to grapple it or pull out a net gun. For this reason, I always level all my Mantises into only movement speed. The next combo on today's list is going to be using a skiff with dinos. There's a lot of teams that complement the skiff well, like a void or a mana that can stun things and freeze them out the air, allowing the skiff to get a free pick. Or if you have high DPS dinos, the skiff can quickly pick it and bring it to you so you can kill it with your dino. They're also extremely good with fighting tech suitors because if you grab a suitor with a skiff, it holds them in one place so the lightnings can get free beams on them. The next overpowered combo is going to be Shadow Mains and Desmos. The reason why this is so good is because the Desmo is already very quick, and with the Shadow Main boost, it makes it even faster. When you pick someone with a Shadow Main buff Desmo, you're able to travel with them a lot farther distances before they have time to react. This combo is one of my favorite ones to use when defending my base. Next on the list, we're going to have Trikes with Tech Rifles. The reason why I think this is so overpowered is because trikes are much smaller than stegos so they can fit into more caves and you face forward while soaking. This allows you to be able to pull out weapons and tech rifle things once you get into range. Let me know in the comments down below what you think is better for soaking, trikes, or stegos. Now let's talk about the combo that has gotten me the most kits in PvP. That is going to be using a harpoon launcher with nets and a whip to whip their cutter. The reason why this was so effective is because a lot of people only run one hatchet and if you whip it from their hands then they're not able to cut free or cut their tame free. That makes it stuck there for one whole entire minute and you're able to kill them or do whatever you need. For this clip, because he had a hawk, I ended up pulling out my club. Instead of trying to kill him, I wanted to just knock him out so the hawk couldn't save the kit. This guy was smart enough to pop a beer, making it extremely hard for me to knock him out. And he also had 14 fortitude. 
but because I whipped his cutter and he wasn't get away, it was a free kit. The next combo is going to be my favorite way to third party fobs, and to do so, all you need is a Desmo to pick someone and some turrets to drop them into. When I see a group of people fighting, my favorite thing to do is hide a turret trap as close as I can to where they're at, and then just pick people that aren't paying attention and drop them into it, allowing me to get free kits off of them. The last overpowered combo of today's video is going to be using a shadow main with a giga on follow. The reason why it makes it so effective is because you can whistle the giga attack on anything and you can stun them off. For this clip I stun the giga rider so that way it makes him have to dismount right before the gig bites and the giga kills him off the back. That's it for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed or learned something new. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on your way out. Thank you for watching to the end and I'll see you in the next one.